Well, Alexandra's book, Marine, The Truth About the Murder Conviction, has been released in paperback. He joins me now alongside his wife, Claire. And Claire, all the way through, your resolve has been extraordinary. Never doubted him. You were called a lioness <laughs> and a warrior. And that's what you were like. It's hard to see it from yourself, from I your own perspective, but um, it's lovely to hear that that's how my actions came across. Oh, it was extraordinary because, I mean, you, you really were, and, and at least you knew when all of this, you know, your life tumbling round about your ears, Al, and you knew that you had this formidable woman on your side. Oh, without doubt. Gets you through. Yes, it does. It makes, makes all the difference when you're in those sort of situations to have, you know, such a strong personality by your side. Because what a hellish time you've had. I mean, the thing is, if you think you know your story, and a lot of us do, yeah. you've got to read this. You've got to read it, because it brings it to life so vividly about what you went through over there, the stress, the strain, the dangers. You know, you've seen friends around about you dying um, and, and being mutilated. And, you know, we, we don't know what it's like. That's the thing. None of us know. We didn't know what you went through. I think that's key for me in, in you know, getting the book out there was, you know, to put my honest yeah. uh, view of what, what things were like out there. And so if, if people took the time to read it, they can make a, f a fair assessment uh, that way. Well, you said you said the word there, fear, and that was the thing that I, I know you found uh, clear. It was this sense, especially with the British public, that this was an injustice. This was not fair. And that's why so many people contributed to the fund, didn't they? You must have been overwhelmed by that. Messages of support, you know, all of the, all of the things that happened. I've still got, <clears throat> excuse me, boxes and boxes of letters and cards from thousands of people right across the world that just sent and showed their support. And that just gave me so much energy to, to keep going. Yeah, you needed that. I did. You really I did, did need that. I don't think people did. realise how much of a difference it made. Mm. That and of, and, of course, the fact that, that people were helping the fund yeah. to, to clear your name. That, that was the thing that Without you needed that, as well. we wouldn't be here. Now, look, you know, you're separated for a long time anyway when you're out, you know, when, you, when you're away, when you, whenever you're deployed somewhere. So you're kind of used to that aspect. But this must have tested your relationship, both of you. And you, you've always said you came out stronger. Yeah. Not everybody does, but you two have. And I, I watched other relationships um, when I was visiting him in prison and, and saw how difficult that was. We were just really lucky. It didn't test us. We just worked together. Um, I guess like we'd always done, but in a, an intense way that we'd never mm. experienced. That is remarkable. What a relationship you've got. You're, you're a lucky man in that sense. <laughs> you know, there's so much, but there's so much in your yes. life that, you know, because up until then, you were the model soldier. You were a poster boy. You really were, until this terrible thing happened. And really, it's, it's remarkable that both of you, you seem to gain strength from one another. Yeah. 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 I think that's very true. Fair. Which is, which is incredible. Now, now, this is the thing, though. You've got this, you, you've had this, you've, you've written about it. Where do you go from here? Because obviously you're a man in your prime. You want to contribute to society. Yes. You want to work. You want to do lots of things. What, what's the plan? What would you like to do? Uh, well, I, I was at, for a time working for a, a veteran support company, so um, right. providing other support to, to veterans that had left service. Uh, unfortunately, um, funding ran out for that. I, I still volunteer for them. The, the, the organisation is still going, but it's obviously uh, drawn back a little bit mm. because of lack of funding. Uh, and so I'm having to look for, for other work. Um, what what exactly um, I'm undecided at the moment. Right, but you're thinking about it, and are you are you worried that people who don't know your story and just maybe haven't read the book and don't understand that it's it's going to be something that hinders you? When you're I, I don't know. I, I think you know you look at any job you apply for, and one of the key attributes they're looking for is honesty. And so, whenever I send my CV or and covering letter off, I always, you know, don't overemphasize it, but I'm I'm clear about right. who I am okay. because. You know, I, I think you're, it'd be hard for anybody to find an employer or a prospective employer that, that doesn't yeah. Google you the first moment they, they read your name. Um, and I wouldn't want them finding out secondhand or, or to, a, to assume that I was trying to hide that. Yeah. Um, you know, no, that makes perfect sense. It really does. And again, for you, you know, it's, it's really difficult because obviously, yeah. you know, it was, it, we know that you had mental trauma. Yes. You really did. How is that? How are you coping with that? Um, I'm fine. Good. I believe I'm fine. I mean, Good. it was uh, the diagnosis was um, theatre specific, so environment specific. So 
just while I was out in that yeah. environment. And I was, I'm one of the lucky ones who mental health returned uh, to normal once I returned to the UK. Mm. Um, it's that thing of I said, we, don't, we think we know what you guys go through, yeah. the men and women out there, but we don't. Yeah. And that's why your book, I think, is so important. It's so important to tell your story. Yeah. But it's not just your story. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, to tell, it's to tell us all and to make us all aware of what and it's I like think, out there. I think from my point of view, it's, it's, you know, it's key to me. I mean, I'm not saying that I was, you know, I had it the worst out there. I'm sure there's plenty of people who've who suffered, you know, especially the guys who've come back with life-changing injuries, um, had a much more horrid experience than I had. Mm. Um, you know, and that's, that's key for me as well. No, exactly, to get that, to get that yeah. idea. You, both of you, um, now, it's all about moving on, isn't it? Yeah. And, and Claire, how are you, how are you feeling? Because everybody always asks, Al, don't they? Of course they do. <laughs> but how are you? How are you? I'm good. You're Thank all right, you. you're I'm fine. I'm pleased to have him home most I'm of the time. <laughs> <laughs> and what is life like now? Can you lead a sort of relatively normal life, taking the dogs for a walk, doing Absolutely. all that sort of thing? Yeah, yeah we're, we're really lucky. We've we've been able to move forward we you know we had a, a fabulous result he came home and that was okay now then mm. let's focus on on moving forward and, and in new home yeah. new start excellent and just the little things of life that yes. are important yeah. yeah yes oh they really are yeah. it's so good to see both of you i'm so sorry that you went through all of that it was just horrendous it really was totally unnecessary yeah. should never have happened but thank goodness uh, the right result you, in the God. end, in the end. And honestly, you, sh you should read this. It's incredible. It's called Marini, The Truth About the Murder Conviction. It's out right now. Um, and thank you. And thank you for signing it for my dad. <laughs> You'll be delighted. <laughs> thank you very Stay much. Indeed. I will do. Yeah. Great to see both of you. Thank you.